Before introducing the cell production process, let's first understand the electricity generation principle of the battery through a simple animation. Each silicon atom has only four electrons in its outermost layer, which is not stable. So, adjacent silicon atoms share four electrons. When doped with five valent phosphorus element, four electrons in phosphorus will combine with silicon atoms. When they are combined with each other, we call it n-type silicon. Each wafer has two different types of silicon layers. When doped with three valent boron element, there will be an additional vacancy, which we call it electron hole. And this is p-type silicon. The p-n junction is created by two semiconductor material types, namely the p-type and the n-type. When the sunlight shines on PV cell surface, the fifth electron is free to move and serves as charge carrier. But because of electric field at the p-n junction, they will only go one way. Those moving electrons are collected by metal fingers at the top of the cell. From there, they flow through an external circuit doing electric work like powering in a light bulb, then return through the conductive aluminum sheet on the back. Next, we will understand the production process of n-type topical cells through a 3D animation. The purpose of texturing is to form a textured surface on the silicon wafer surface to reduce the reflectivity of the cell to light. Pyramid velvet surface can increase the secondary reflection, change the optical distance and incidence mode, materials loading, wafers loading and other operations before boron diffusion. The entire process is carried out using full automatic equipment such as robotic arms. Boron diffusion needs to be carried out in a low pressure and high temperature vacuum environment. The purpose of boron diffusion is to form the desired p-n junction inside the n-type silicon. BSG etching after boron diffusion. BSG etching serves three purposes. First, remove BSG residues from the back and edges to achieve front and back insulation. Second, remove porous silicon formed on the surface of silicon wafers to reduce surface recombination. Finally, polish the back of the silicon wafer to improve the reflectivity. LPCVD is the most mature process for ultra-thin tunneling layers and n-type based crystalline silicon thin film. The process conditions for an LPCVD are the chemical and physical reactions of mixed gases at low pressure and high temperature. As temperature gradually increases to around 600 degrees, the gas undergoes thermal decomposition. Finally, an ultra-thin tunneling layer and n-type polycrystalline silicon are formed on the surface of the silicon wafer. Doping and annealing involves phosphorus doping on the back of the silicon wafers through a low-pressure diffusion furnace tube. The purpose is to construct a potential difference with the silicon substrate while repairing the damaged lattice. PSG etching after doping and annealing. The effect is similar to PSG etching. ALD called atomic layer deposition. The conditions for the ALD are also chemical reactions of mixed gases at low pressure and high temperature. As temperature gradually increases to around 300 degrees, the gas undergoes thermal decomposition. Depositing an AIOX passivation layer on the front side to passivate the surface of the silicon wafer, repair surface hanging gears to reduce surface defect density. At the same time, positive negative charge layer forms a field effect passivation increasing the open circuit voltage. The inside is a pre-process of the front and back coating, wafers loading and bolt entering. The outside is post-coating process of front and back coating, bolting, discharging, wafers unloading. Front and back coating can deposit SINX protective layer on the front side, enhancing the PID resistance performance. Next is a screen printing process. First, the electrode pattern is printed on the silicon wafer using a mesh plate and passed on the back of the battery. In this step, Use the device to flip the front and back of the silicon wafer. Then print the electrode pattern on the front of the silicon wafer. The electrode pattern is solidified in a drying and centering furnace to form positive and negative conductive electrodes. Finally, light injection is used to repair internal defects of the cells, reduce light-induced degradation, and improve cell efficiency. At this point, after testing and sorting, a high-efficient N-type topical cells has been produced.